There's a unique sport being taught in Lane County that requires athleticism and treading water. Many people probably don't know. There's a synchronized swimming team in Oak Ridge. KEZI 9 News reporter Jessica Devis is live in the studio to explain more on what makes this team so special. Jessica. Brian, there are 13 people, 12 girls and one boy on the Oak Ridge synchronized swimming team. Living in Oregon, this is obviously a seasonal sport. The other obstacle here, though, there's no public swimming pool in Oak Ridge. This is no backyard pool party. You need to practice that run. We only have three or four weeks in the summer to practice for our big show. It's a classroom. Well, we swim six and a half hours a day together, five days a week, so we definitely know each other very well. The setting might be informal. Practice is held at the coach's own house. Go fix that. But the daily routine is anything but. It's not that easy. There's a lot, a lot of stuff that happens under the water that you don't know about. These kids are going down holding their breath and actually doing athletic maneuvers while they're holding their breath. Right? There's a difference. So of course, to be on this synchronized swimming team, you must be a good swimmer. All have passed level five of the American Red Cross swimming standards. Amber Giles is one of the more experienced members. She's made the trip up from Eugene for the past eight summers. She's also a part of the Churchill High swim team. A lot of them are like, singing a swim team? Like, what, what is that? I'm like, well, it's kind of dancing in the water. They're like, can you show me some moves? I'm like, I guess. And moves are what you'll see when you visit Coach Rennell's pool. But this is no splashing around. It's strong, synchronized swimming skills, just studied in an unlikely place. I'm not very graceful on land, <laughs> so I feel like I can, I can really show off my grace and beauty in the pool. And this team doesn't compete. They just practice for a big show at the end of the summer, which is tomorrow night at 9 o'clock. They are expecting nearly 150 people. For information on how to get there, just head to our website, kezi.com. Live in the studio, Jessica Davis, KEZI 9 News.